Okay, hello again. And uh, right, this is a video I've been planning on doing for a while, but some ISO issue kept getting in the way, so I never got round to it. Well, <laughs> oh dear. Uh, anyway, so here we are. Now, as you can see from the description, this is a new camera. And this is the Sony A7C2. Now, this or the A7 That This was the question. Now, I absolutely love the form factor of this little camera. Um, and obviously, it is a an improvement. It's quite a big improvement over the original A7C. So then I was decided, you know, I, I do prefer the form factor of this. Um, so I had to make, so then it become a consideration, but was it going to be good enough to replace my A7 IV? Um, well, yeah, I've decided it is. I've decided it is. Now, there's some pros and cons about this, um, because it's not a perfect replacement. I, it will do for me. For others, it won't be a replacement. Um, uh, th there's no question about that. For me, it will be. I, I think it's fine. Even with my 100 to 400, it fit. if if I had the 200 to 600 still, I might be a little bit more questionable. But I, I, I'm i done with carrying great big heavy lenses around. The 100 to 400 is as much as I, I need. I don't want the great big heavy lenses anymore anyway. I love the 400 to 400 and that's as much as I need. And that doesn't fit too badly on here now as you can see i bought the extra grip this is expensive this this little grip here uh let me see if i can unscrew it it's quite nice i mean it's really nicely built um uh it's rather small it, it's very nicely built but uh, 160 pounds uh it's a bit of a joke um, to be fair, but um, it it does it it is quite useful for this camera. I would say it's it it it's nice to be able to make that grip a little bit bigger, and and it does make a difference. So it is worth having. But I did buy this from a third party, or, or grey import, as they might say, and. Uh, camera itself was significantly cheaper than buying one here in the UK or directly from Sony so and it, even with having to buy that grip off of Amazon it still worked out cheaper so um, so no issues there so I, I do I just love the form factor I just love the form factor of this now the biggest decision and and the, the the thing that was putting me off more than anything else and really what was this viewfinder because I've read and and again you know now I've been able to look through this viewfinder people do not exaggerate when you listen to some reviews about these these cameras you you think that the viewfinder was awful it's a damn good viewfinder. It's nowhere near as bad as people make out. I mean, it's not as big or uh, as the A7 IV or um, the A7 V or, or any of those. Yes, of course it's not. But it's still damn good. It's clear, it's sharp. It's, I've, I've got no issues with this viewfinder whatsoever. I really haven't. Um, it's just so exaggerated. Some people have claimed it. You know, it it it's it's awful. Um, again, we're we're coming back to um, oh god, everything's so terrible. 
Um, and it really isn't. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can possibly see that through the. Let me try and angle that. Hang on. Uh, right. Oh no. Hang on. Can you see that in there? I haven't actually set the language on it as yet. But I don't know if you can see that. But <laughs> it's not. God. Come on. Uh, you, I think you just about... There you go. Uh, I mean, look how clear that is. That, it, it's lovely. It's a lovely viewfinder. It's so exaggerated how, you know, when people claim this is a bad viewfinder, it's not. It's, it's lovely. It works fine. No issues whatsoever. Um, so that, that was my biggest fear um, of... of do I change cameras or not? Yeah, I prefer the form factor of this. I don't know why. There's nothing wrong with the form factor of the A7 IV, by the way. But this is a little bit smaller. Um, it's I, I just love the look of it. I, and it's lovely, solidly built as well. By all look, I've, I've never had the original A7C, but by all accounts, it's a lot better. I can't compare that. I never had it. Um, but it's also... You know, a lot of people say well, it's an A7 IV, but it has actually, it is an improvement over the A7 IV. Um, the IBIS has improved, it's up to seven stops. Um, the AI processor is, is much improved. The I autofocus is, is improved by about 60%. The animal autofocus um, is improved by about 40%. Uh, it can now focus on insects and trains and other things. None of these are in the A7 IV. Um, the auto exposure is improved by approximately 20%. Um, and the white balance is more accurate. And the AI tracking is improved as well. So there's an awful lot of improvements in this camera over the A A7 IV. And I, you know, I, I, I think this is going to be a pre prelude or an, a, an interim between the A74 and, I guess, the A75, um, which will be better again, I, I suspect, in a similar kind of body as the A74. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I suspect, you, you know, Sony are very slow at bringing cameras out, so I don't expect to see that. I don't know, maybe next year, probably the year after, who knows. Um, so, yeah, it's got quite a lot of improvements over the A7 IV, so I'm loving this. Um, now, why wouldn't you? Well, the only reason you... I mean, look, at the end of the day, I, I'm... I think this is a worthwhile improvement over the A7 IV. But there's a lot of reasons why you might not want to get rid of your A7 IV. And, um, you know, the A7 IV is still a fantastic camera. I've chosen to do it, but that doesn't mean that's right for you. Um, and the main reasons for not wanting is, is because the viewfinder. You might prefer it in the middle and it's bigger. The grip is... I, it's improved but it's still not as good as the A7 IV's uh, the screen is slightly less resolution and a bit smaller but then it's a smaller camera so you would expect that so um, you know uh, yeah uh, it, it's up to you it's got the A7 IV's got more custom buttons as well if I remember rightly, I've only got it upstairs, but it's in the box. So there are reasons to stick with the A7 IV, but I, I'm I'm impressed with this. I, I I bought it with the full intention of sending it back because I wasn't sure that it would have enough in it to want me to swap, you know, as a replacement for the A7 IV. But it has it has got a lot more improvements lot more than I thought and it's a lovely camera so I am swapping it but that's not going to be for everyone 
That's just purely a personal choice. Um, the lens I've got on it is a Sigma 20mm, one of their eyeline uh, lenses, really lovely built lenses. And they come with this uh, it's like a, a metal lens hood with a magnet and it just fits on there like that. Really cool. Uh, very nice sharp lens. Not all these lenses are from this line are that great. Again, I would refer you to Christopher Frost, who um, has reviewed some of these lenses. I'm not sure he's reviewed this one. I, I can't remember now. But, um, uh, or has he? I think he might have done. Anyway, th these are quite a nice line, and it fits lovely on this. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Um, away from the Nikon ZF, and this is a new Sony camera to my as I say the old day some falls going and I, I love this one so I'll be hanging on to this so there you go thanks for watching till the next one